The World Cup is here on FIFA 23. We have so much content to get through. And the sun's up and my head's fucked. Now, I don't even know where to start with what they've released today. We have World Cup cards, which is no specific game mode for the World Cup, but it's almost ingrained onto the current Ultimate Team. When you log on, you'll get an option to choose a country with World Cup players. So here is me actually choosing my country. These are going to be handy to complete. The World Cup swap tokens, which we will move on to in a minute. As I said, there's a lot of content to get through. Um, I went for England just because everyone's going to go France. Like, just, I'm not going to be boring. Um, and it's actually going to be Jaden Sancho, who, fun enough, didn't go to the World Cup. Anyway, um, Henderson, Chilwell, Abraham, Saka, and Pope in there. Notice how a few of the upgrades are altered as well, which is, you know, always nice. But ultimately, these cards will help us complete objectives to get the tokens, where we have to win at least six games with at least six Ecuadorian World Cup players which make the price inflation of these cards. I, I haven't even looked but they're probably gonna be a joke. Like 10k an Ecuadorian card. So yeah, there's like currently 14 of these out, I want to say roughly. 13, 14 of these out roughly, let's say so. We've also got the Path to Glory team out which is looking stacked as well as the Foot Hero World Cup players. They are looking mad. Now this is World Cup swaps. This is looking so juicy by the way. So for just two tokens, we can get any of these players. Look very decent if you're a Costa Rican looking to get one of your own in your team. Card design, I do really like as well, I can't lie. Um, yeah, yeah, this goes on. Looking, you know, average cards. This guy's What If card the other year was so good. Um, yeah, we got 82 times 20 for three tokens. All of these players, boo, boo, boo. More players, more players. Mate, you can't really complain, to be fair. Mate, the 84 times 20 for 10 tokens, which is not bad uh, at all. We can probably do that, like, within the next few days. Um, the FIFA World Cup path to glory world cup cards um we get one of five in a player pick for 20 tokens which is quite hefty but we could get the three times 84 times 20 which is essentially 60 players for your club that's just always nice right like fod is booming um we have the fifa world cup hero player pick so obviously you got like crouchy boy etc in these player picks for a lot of tokens and then for i mean yeah you're cafe but if you take a player you're boring although that card design is looking saucy mate i wouldn't actually blame you if you went for one of these players they they are looking good but um yeah we have the FIFA World Cup icon player pick, which I will be doing on this account when I eventually get the tokens in 53 days. I'm committed to doing the highest value pack, so yes, we're on that. And Patrick Vieira for 40, which I mean, I'm sorry, like the, that card design alone, that's just such a nice, different design. And a Chupo Motang objective. I mean, again, these card designs just look so, so clean. To attain these World Cup cards to complete the objectives, we can do these packs, which are indeed milestones, which is literally just scoring with the nation and then hopefully getting a few World Cup players in these packs. So it's a process. It, it looks like it's going to take a while because of how rare it is to pack these players. Again, I don't want to say rare. I haven't even opened any packs yet, but I can imagine packing a uh, Qatarian World Cup player is going to be fairly tricky. So the whole process, mate, these also aren't on the market. So um, yes, I was wrong about the whole point of them being price locked. You can't even buy them by the looks of it. So yeah, that's always fun. Um, it makes the game, it makes opening packs a lot more better though. I'm pretty sure though, yeah, 50 foot champion win to get to me a 100k pack. So the fact I'm claiming it now is just, mate, it is... It's meant to be. Any save packs as well before 6 p.m. won't contain these World Cup cards. Right, the 100k pack World Cup cards. I I need to start collecting them. So, that's not walk out. I think. Uh, Jacko, yeah, yeah, go away. Right, in form. Um, I don't think there's any World Cup. Yeah, there's definitely no World Cup World Cup cards underneath. Now, for the content, I don't even care, boys. All right, I know it's quite quite a lot of coinage. Where well, there we are. Right, so we have these packs, and they're guaranteeing us. Two player picks between two FIFA World Cup players. We have the Prime Gold Players Pack and then we have a Nation Foundation where we have 10 of the player picks. Oh, you know what? Nation's Foundation Pack. Well, what do you get from the Nation's Foundation Pack? Well, we're about to find out now. 50k, what does it get us? It's going to be a walkout. That's always nice. This is untradeable, by the way. Um, and it's going to be a long lease. Yeah, it's not looking good. Right. Oh, okay, so the pack's literally, I mean, all these guys are duplicates, but... It's mainly for these World Cup player picks, okay? If I send these to the club then, um, by the way, that's nice fodder, I guess. Right, we have 10 FIFA World Cup player picks. Come on, mates. <laughs> Hook me up. All of these nations you were going to need anyway for these objectives. Which one's rare? None of them are rare, all right? Everyone, there's at least 22 of each team. 26, all right? I'll, for now, I'll just take the better player, okay? I might be doing that really wrong, but um, 
Yes, Lewis Baqueta. Right, next one. Uweya or Vlakovic. Right, one, two. Buya or Fleya. Right, okay. <laughs> That's a pretty strange one. Um, Hoyalet, Canadian. Now, I'll just take McKenzie because I've got a few Americans anyway. Pull a seat. Oh, we need pull a seat. Lukaku, big rom, 86. Um, yeah, I'll take him. That's very, very nice. Right, last one. Bye, guys, Abaza. That's always nice. Um, he will be handy for the Wheels. That was awful. <laughs> Jesus. I'm never trying that again. Uh, for the Wales, the Wales objective, sorry. I guess that's how it works. You cannot buy these, so if you do want to go onto another account and try out these different packs, it's not as easy as just doing hybrid nations, getting coins, buying eight players from the same league. You actually have to pack these cards. That's what makes it somewhat tricky. But yeah, let me know what pack you you are going for in the World Cup swaps. I'll be interested to hear what you guys do fancy. As I said, I'm going to try and make my mind up whether it's worth going on to other accounts and doing the packs. I feel like this process is going to take a lot longer than I, than I can swap used to do like last year in FIFA 21. So, yeah. Hey, we'll just go with it, right? But until the next video, hopefully when we have some nice content. Um, I've been going strong in foot champions, so, mate, probably have my champ reward soon. But until then, um, wish you the best of pack luck. And, um, yeah, see you in the next video, boys. Take care. Live it.